What, what, what do you want? What's wrong with you people? Hello, what's up? Um, my name is uh, Josh Kuypers. Welcome to another episode of Reform Gaming Moments. And uh, today we're going to be uh, doing some... Uh, I forget what we're, what episode did we do. Um, um, oh yeah, so the previous episode we did... Uh, we went to go find something. Now we're going to go and... Um, uh, confront this uh, lady in a graceful and respectful way um, to uh, repent of her sins and uh, you know just go and uh, make sure she does right things righteously so as you can see in Mass Effect 1 this is the um, the uh, we're gonna speak to her hold on a second um, um, I'm convinced I'm convinced, yeah, like you say some dialogue and stuff like that. Mm, that's a world of stress off my back. Yep. I'll take the evidence for safe okay. Hm, I didn't think you'd help me. Yeah, I helped you. I guess some of you can be alright. Yeah. Okay. What about this garage? So, how about getting me into the garage? While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage. Yeah, okay. So anyways, as I... As I talk over to over her, um, I want to tell you about the um, Baptist Catechism. Bapt wait, 6980 Baptist. Um, shoot. 6089 Confession. Um, question and answer. Oh crap! Hold on a second. I totally forgot. Um, you know, find the Baptist Confession. Uh oh well, I can't find it. So anyways, we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna get out of this base because um, we need to get to the other base, um, the ice realm. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I hope you guys are doing well, um, like spiritually, and I hope you guys are reading your your Bibles and um, understanding what God has to say. Um, I've been reading recently i've been going through first corinthians it's been such a joy i went to right now we finished chapter 14 and now we're going on 15 and um we're going to see well i'm gonna quick talk to this guy Any chance you had something to do with that? yeah i was what about it um i'm just i'm just getting kind of bored um all right Okay, I'm gonna ask. Uh, you know what? Uh, screw this. I, I, I'm gonna ignore him. Let, let's just keep going on in this mission. Yeah. So, anyways, hi, lady. How are you doing? Access to the garage is restricted. Yeah. I have authorization. Yeah, I do have authorization. So let me in. All right, finally, now I'm going in. So, anyways, about uh, 1 Corinthians 14, in which um, it's talking about tongues, but if anyone reads it, they can see that, you know, tongues are uh, meant to have an interpreter, and if there is an interpreter, they're able to, um, you know, interpret a known language. But since, um, I, anyways, I'm going to go shoot some bad guys. Okay, so, um, uh, okay, kill this guy. All right, so... Uh, how about you do that? Okay. Alright, so, any case. Um, I was speaking of 1 Corinthians 14, tongues. Um, yeah, so, like, if anyone reads this plain language, it can see that, you know, there needs to be an interpreter, otherwise it's just pure babble and no one's going to understand it. But also, and there needs to be an order and structure to church. I mean, you can't just do anything you want. I mean, there's a certain things that you know god finds appealing but actually uh desires good worship and healthy and holy worship that's um found in the church um but it's only done through reading and understanding god's word um because you know not everything is acceptable in the sight of god um god desires a um uh, 
sacrifice and worship that is pleasing to him in accordance to the scriptures. So anyway, so after that, um, in chapter 15, we kind of discuss the first importance. And so what's the first importance? Oh, jeez, hold on a second. I need to get rid of this guy. Uh, where'd he go? Ugh. All right, let's do um, that. And uh, let's see if I can... Those hoppers. They, they, just, just stop! Thank you. Okay, so... Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Misclick. But, um, so in chapter 15, it was talking about the first importance. And what's the first importance is that, um, that Jesus Christ, um, died and rose again according to the scriptures. Now, that's very important, um, because, uh, it's important because, like, if Jesus didn't rise from the, well, if Jesus wasn't dead and buried, like he actually died, uh, he didn't fulfill the scriptures. And so the scriptures would have um, been fake and it would have been uh, not real or, or genuine and everything that we believe is just simply a lie. Uh, but Christ did um, die in accordance to the scriptures, but he did raise again from the dead. And that's of first importance as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's kind of what we learned in, like, 1st um, Corinthians 15, uh, that's at least what I've been going through, um, anyways, I've been trying to upgrade her armor, but oh well, let's just go through this, um, anyways, my favorite character in this game is Rex, because he is such a beast, and, uh, he makes these wonderful one-liners and such like that. All right, so, all right, anyways, what else is on the schedule? Oh, yeah, reform funny moments. Um, I know you guys have been requesting reform funny moments, but, you know, I realize that, you know, each episode takes, like, you know, uh, let me, um, uh, I think I'm okay. All right, so let's go over here quick. That's nothing. Uh, that's good. All right, we're going to head to the vehicle. Oh, wait, I'm going to, I need to heal. Like, um, just give me one sec. Uh Dang, you know, I always miss, like, right-click, right bumper, and left bumper. Okay. All right. We should be good to go. <clears throat> All right. So, anyways, most of you guys have been saying, like, I need to do more reformed funny moments. And, you know, there's going to be episodes of that. But, you know, they just take so long. They take, like, 7 to, um, like, 20 hours just to do one episode. But, uh... But, but, you know, eventually, eventually I'll get another episode, but I realized that, you know, I need more content on my channel, so that's why I started doing video games for, um, just, you know, just to crank it out there, um, so that way it gets into the YouTube algorithm, and, uh, you know, that, that way I can get more views and such like that, um, but, but also, like, uh, it's, 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 it's just fun, you know, it's just fun to play Mass Effect, and um, it's because it's just such a good game and it's pretty relaxing too and I could talk about a lot of things um, and do absolutely like little work you know and uh, yet lots of people will watch my content so anyways uh, people are firing hold on whoa that was freaking close <laughs> all right come on come on there you go yeah <laughs> Alright, well, anyways, um, we, uh, there we go, man, yeah, this cool down, man, oh, shoot, alright, sorry, I'm, I'm just, I'm just not good at multitasking, um, there, ah, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, There we go. Okay. Oh! <laughs> ah, cutscene. Well, anyways. Yeah, I mean, it takes a while to make an episode, but, um, yeah, I decided to do this this gaming thing stuff because, you know, that way I can produce more content and such uh, for this channel. Uh, what else is on the schedule? Oh, by the way, like, yeah, I just got, um, 
um, back from a Ligonier conference. It was amazing. Um, there were a lot of people that I met, and uh, some. it was a wonderful conference, a conference about ethics, in which ethics is... Um, it's um, it's what it's what doesn't change. There's Christian ethics of work, faith, um, family, life, and um, um, uh, yeah. Let's just just quickly do this. Go over here. There we go. Ooh, all right, not bad. Uh, what was it? Work, life, um, faith. Yeah, let's do this maze again, quick. Um, yeah, simple as pie. All right. Work, life, um, faith. No, work. What are the foundation pillars? Um, it's work. It's um, the sacred, sacred of life, law and order, um, uh, and you know other other stuff. Foundations, but there are people in society that are trying to undermine it, like those stupid feminists and um, um, the um, like woke people and stuff like that that they, they just they're trying to remind the pillars of our society and ethics or car christian ethics are what you know hold society together and if those foundations are gone then what can the righteous do so yeah i mean if those if those foundations are gone then what can we do um anyways one of those pillars is work which you know speaking of which i need to go to my job now so hold on i need to pause this all right thank you guys for watching hope you guys Please like and subscribe.